recently we have been looking at a lot of just plain Jane knives on this channel, but I got to tell you, there are some absolutely beautiful knives out there that are still super functional. So we're going to look at 10 of the most attractive yet still everyday carryable knives. Guys, like I said in the intro, these are 10 of not just the best looking, but best performing knives. Great knives don't have to be ugly. We're going to start right here in the middle because this is going to be a long video. The Olamic Wayfarer 247 with their Sheep's Cliff grind. This is an incredibly good knife. This is a very, very comfortable knife to carry in hand. Almost perfect pocket clip, but what makes it stand out is it was finished so well. Now, I redid the anodizing on this. This is not the original anodizing, but it came with this rock pattern. This isn't anything I did. It came with a polished backspacer. It came with a gorgeous, gorgeous pocket clip. But like I said, outside of the fact that it is one of the most striking and attractive knives you'll see, some people don't find it attractive. It is a beautifully functional blade, M390, that has been heat treated almost perfectly. Super, super good grind on this. Nice long blade that doesn't feel awkward. Some of the best ergos you're going to find on a knife. The action on it is amazing. And while it has a unique look, super, super comfortable. In and out of pocket is beautiful. Pocket clip isn't a hot spot. All of the hardware is titanium. Scales are titanium. It just is an amazing looking knife. I've carried this and used it a bit. I did just recently refinish the blade and retumble it so that it wasn't as scratched. It had a lot of patterning on it. You've got a flipper tab that turns into what looks awkward on the knife, but feels great in hand. It is just about a perfect finger guard. It completely marries into this finger choil and makes it so comfortable to cut with. Such a secure and comfortable grip on this. Sorry about that, the dog went crazy. Uh, so super secure grip because of the way this is shaped. There's no issue or hot spots on this. This is just about one of the most all around comfortable knives to cut with that you're gonna find, and like I said, just a natural grip on this, almost like a pistol grip feel, drops you down in alignment with the cut. So there you go. There's your first knife, the Olamic Wayfarer 247. If you can find one of these, pick these up. Either blade, either blade style will be perfect. So let's move on to the next one, which is a small little custom fix blade done by, it's a Morgan Knives. I never have figured out who made this, but this is an ATS 34 steel. You can see beautiful mother of pearl scales on this with mosaic pins carving in the bolster. The blade has been beautifully polished. And on top of that, it came with not only a functional sheath, but a hand worked beautiful leather sheath with all this work on it. It is an easy, easy knife to carry in pocket. It comes with a pot. It has a pocket clip on it. And on top of that, the way it just feels in hand, it just drops into your hand for set. It's such a small knife. It still feels really secure. It is easy to get up on. This is a knife that spends a lot of time in my pocket. You can see here these dovetail joints on this with red liners underneath. Beautiful work on the spine here with this file work. There is nothing you can say about this knife that is bad. ATS-34 is a great, great steel. It definitely takes an insane edge. It's got just a slight recurve to it that lets it cut stuff so well, especially cardboard and things like that. This has got a very thin profile. It is easy to cut with. So there's a lot of things I do like apples and cutting apples and stuff like that with this knife. It sits really well in the hand. And on top of everything, this little uh, engraving and carving on the bolster gives it some grip. It's a nice little pinch point to hold on to. And then, like I said, the polish on Now, this has been used a lot, so the polish is a little bit worn. But this thing was one of the most beautiful knives. This came from a subscriber uh, that wanted to help out the channel. The handle's been contoured ever so slightly to give you a small drop here for your finger and then a thicker spot behind. Just feels super secure. This is one of my favorite knives uh, that I've ever had come into the channel. It was one of my favorite gifts. This is actually belongs to my daughter, but she doesn't carry it, so it spends a lot of time with me. So there you go, guys, that Morgan Custom. 
So this next knife, you guys have seen a couple times. This is the Oaksburgs Elantra, and it is a beautiful little knife. Not only is it beautiful, it is one of the most comfortable and functional small folding knives you can find. You can get right up into this on that forward choil. It's got a very similar blade feel and, and alignment to a knife that Olamic makes called the busker you can top flip this beautifully that forward choil is just about perfect for you to get up on here and have a very good cutting platform the action on this is amazing thumb flip you can reverse flip off of it let me see i'm having problems with my carpal tunnel so i didn't know if i'd be able to do it yeah reverse flick off these thumb studs this is one of the best knives i had come in uh last year it's got this beautiful arctic blue carbon fiber and then this area here has been milled out to give it a like a set in bolster look but the fact is not only is that attractive it gives you a little bit of added traction it is just like jimping jimping on the spine really really comfortable this is a beautiful overall package it's a nice short squat kind of knife but it sits in the pocket well. It carries well. It's got all the bells and whistles you want. You got a spot for a lanyard. Beautiful pocket clip that is reversible. And they've just like, you can almost not even tell that there's a spot there. So you just take that piece out. This thing is great. It hits all the little bells and whistles and wickets that I would want in a knife. Plus it's just attractive. Like I said, that's what we're looking at. Knives that are both super functional and super attractive. This, this gets a lot of pocket time. Um, as a matter of fact, I carry it so much, I dropped it and had to put a new tip on this knife. So big shout out to Eric Oaks over at Oaks Works EDX. Check him out if you haven't. He may have some of these available on his website. So let's move on to the next knife. And it's this beautiful, beautiful first production run of the North Country EDC 2 by Bark River Knives. Now this is done in a beautiful dragon scale pattern. So this is ruby red dragon scale ruby red frost dragon scale with mosaic pins and a cherry red liner i remember that because it is just everything i would want a knife not only is this just beautifully attractive this is one of the best cutting knives i don't cut with this a lot i'm not going to lie i do get it out and use it for certain things um but it's because it's so attractive i i almost turned this into a, a, a safe queen but as far as a functional knife all of the bark river knives are amazing they have a ironclad warranty this is a full convex all the way down with just a very very thin edge bevel on it and s45 bn this is an absolute laser it screams through everything it's got these coke bottle shaped handles that just fit in your hand perfect that is this is by far one of the most comfortable knives I've ever handled and used. It's got a nice little cant to it, so the blade drops down. And then, like I said, they've done a really good job of just doing an understated satin, like a belt satin on this, but it holds up really well. It's got this like perfect, perfect convex to it. And then the little swedge gives you some facets, but it comes with a very functional sheath that allows you to carry it ambidextrously so this is a completely ambidextrous sheath you don't have to worry about putting it on or having loops on one side or the other you just simply flip the knife back and forth and it's a great great well-made sheath you can carry it scout carry if you want it's got spots for it to carry it high and low this is an amazing outdoor knife bark river knives make some of the best outdoor and bushcraft knives you are ever going to find but they don't have to be ugly they have so many handle options on their knives as well that having seeing one like this is not unusual so let's go ahead and move on to the next knife after you hear from this video sponsor because you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. 
This is my Ferrum Forge Knife Works Archbishop, and this is a knife I fell in love with. This was a one-off. Now, Ferrum Forge Knife Works would make a run of 200 knives. There are only 200 of these knives out there. They would take like 10 of them and then make them into Maker's Choice, but they would also release a few that were just one-offs, and Elliot would just kind of do something special. So this one is, it's not an inlay. That is just an area that has been textured and anodized all titanium on this. This is a 20 CV blade that has had a two-tone black ceramic and satin. Now this ceramic on this has held up so, so well. This is one of the strongest coatings you're going to get. So not only is this attractive, this is no different than any of the archbishops they put out when they were doing these in-house. It runs on a rolling detent. This thing is just amazing. They have put out multiple versions of this in a production format, so you can find those as well, and they have different patterns. So you can still pick these, this exact-ish knife up, not the handmade ones, but this was one of the most attractive knives I had ever purchased, and it still gets a lot of time in my pocket. This is an amazing knife, comes down to a beautiful edge. The 20 CV with a custom heat treat sharpens up amazingly well. This thing is just literally one of the most amazing all around knives you're going to find. Textured pocket clip. This thing just just screams everything I want in a knife. It's super comfortable in this grip or this grip. These knives, if you pick up one of the Archie 2.0s that are on um, on their website when they come out, when they release runs of these, you just can't go wrong with them. This is one of my favorite designs they ever made. It's just incredible. So there you go. My Archbishop, the original OG that was a one-off. Let's move on to the next knife. This is the M3 done by lion steel in nylock steel and what makes it so attractive is these micarta scales so this is not like a special edition you didn't have to pay extra for this this was just something they offered these are some of the most striking handles i've ever seen on a knife in my cart. It's black and gray. It gives you almost like a dragon scale or feather pattern on this, but it is grooved. So it's super, super comfortable in hand. Nice broad blade on this. Nylox is a lot like N690. It's a very good steel in my opinion. They get their heat treat right. This takes such a keen edge. I have not had a lot of opportunity to use this because it is a little bit bigger and bulkier than the, some of the other knives I would take uh, carry. Big, thick blade on this, but this is more of an outdoors style bushcraft, maybe hunting knife. You got enough belly if you needed to process an animal, this would be great. Good, good jimping on this. Super comfortable. These handles contour down almost like a Coke bottle style like you saw on the Bark River, but not quite. So it's thicker in the middle. You clear up on this. You can just grab a hold of this. You can chop with this if you want. There is no fear that you're going to damage this knife. It comes along with a uh, nylon and plastic reinforced ambidextrous sheath. So this goes in either way. You can lash this to your gear. You can carry it on your belt. You can take this piece out and then carry this horizontal, if you want, across your belt, like scout carry, small the back. This though, really, when I pull this knife out, people are like, oh man, look at those handles. There's no hot spots on this either. Everything back here is crowned. The only thing I wish that this knife had as an outdoors knife is a sharp edge on this, but they this is all just contoured over, crowned over. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, big, beefy outdoor knife with some of the most gorgeous handles you'll ever find. So let's move on to the next knife. And it's the Horizon D by Riat. This is, in my opinion, the best production knife I have ever purchased. This hits everything I would want. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I did re-anodize this, but this came milled like this. Gorgeous. This was one of the most attractive knives I've ever seen. One of the best. Oh, listen to that thing. Just slams open. One of the most comfortable cutters. The first knife I ever got in M390. I'd had other knives and other steels. Just ridiculously good how well this cuts. The finish on this is a beautiful stone wash that has held up. There's not a lot of scratches on this. This did do a lot of cutting. The carbon fiber on this, a lot like that last one, the M4, is just beautiful. The milling on it just brings out the pattern in the carbon fiber on this. And then you have the exact same milling on the other side, which allows you to do some really striking anodizing work because it catches the light at different angles. And 
so you get some of those changes in it like you get the purples in that blue and some bronze the action on this has been from day one stellar just amazingly good this is one of my favorite knives listen to it it just slams open you can reverse flick off of that well you can if you get on it you can reverse flick off of that fuller that runs the full length of the blade it gives it a unique look because it sweeps down and then that terminates up here so if you're looking at it from this angle just amazing i would expect as much as i've carried it and as much as this knife has been flipped that i would already have some lock rock or blade play in it but it hasn't the 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 lockup on it is still really very early and this was one of the first knives that had an incorporated over travel jim skelton talked about it when he did a review of this this was one of the first knives that had an over travel that was built into the steel lock bar insert so it was one of the first knives we saw that we noticed so beautiful beautiful showing let's move on to the next knife and it's a knife that i feel bad even showing you guys because most of you will never get to see one of these this is a full custom diskin knives revolution this is a double action or dual action so you've got the action where you can just reverse flick off of that beautifully done aperture but it also has the hidden switchblade mechanism inside that you just move that handle locks back down this is m390 that has been taken to a mirror polish which i'm going to tell you having done 20 cv and m390 polishes this is a lot of work beautifully done tonto on this the pivot on this is a Damascus, a Damasteel uh, pivot. The internals on this have been tooled. You can see the tool marks inside there on the lock bar. So the lock bar has been tooled, just beautifully done, milled all the way down in through this titanium into this ivory micarta that he's using. Completely beautifully done all by hand. Pocket clip milling matches these cutouts and spots on this. It has a, a carbon fiber backspacer this thing is just amazing i'm sorry i'm sorry g10 that is g10 i believe not carbon fiber i would have to look it up again but this thing is just almost a piece of art this doesn't ever get any time in pocket this doesn't ever get any time in pocket this is so so smooth that you can just hear it listen to it drop into the detent man just a gorgeous gorgeous overall knife love this thing never is going to leave my collection so just one last i mean you got to look at it look at that pivot but also just the work on the spine here uh for that jimping these are all milled by matt himself and then hand finished and hand tuned so amazing amazing knife let's move on to the next one it's the last of the fixed blades. This is that Tucson by Lon Humphrey. Lon is actually making knives just a few miles outside of my hometown. This is in AEBL. I just recently resharpened this. I carry this knife almost daily. This is like part of my daily EDC. Beautiful, beautiful handles on this. I forget what the, what the exact handles were that were on this. Hang on a second. I can tell you red and black elder burl with a blue liner you've got some beautifully done hand finishing on this the spine on this is, is polished and polished and polished uh this thing he left a more aggressive i, I want to say almost like a scotch bright finish on this blade which has held up great what really has drawn me to this knife is how comfortable is how well it cuts i have not been historically a fan of aebl steel but this is done so so well this thing cuts beautifully well and on top of everything the full package is it has this amazing stitched sheath with the with the uh the like the badging up here on top the thing sits so comfortably. I carry it enough that I've completely deformed the leather on this, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous setup here. But the, the big showpiece is this is another one of those knives that the handle comes down here, widens up, and then has got a perfect spot for your finger. This is an outdoorsman's knife if I've ever seen one. I would love to have had something like this when I grew up on the farm just to carry, but the handles on it are just amazingly done and then that pop of blue just looks so good these aren't even that expensive i think these are coming in at around 300 dollars. i've got i've gotten fixed blades that are much more expensive than this that aren't as good that don't look as nice and folding knives as well so 
There you go, the Lawn Humphrey Custom Knives Tucson. You need to check them out, like you absolutely do. These are amazing. Let's move on to the next knife. So this last knife is the PMP Aries, and it is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Some people don't like this knife at all. Pocket clip that's been milled to match the handles, just really striking. Then you open it up and you've got this amazing S90V blade that has been done in a very fine stone wash. The steel on this is incredible incredibly good it's so sharp in hand this is one of the most comfortable in hand knives you're ever going to cut with it doesn't have a choil per se so guys that are, are opposed to choils you have an edge that comes all the way back but you've got a spot right there that you can choke up on this thing is great in hand now this looks like a pry bar i've never used it for that but this thing comes back and tapers down but is typically not the handles i like but feels so so good you've got a huge big area for a lanyard if you want and a lanyard i gotta say a lanyard done right with the right bead would look amazing on this knife jimping back here typically not a fan of it but it fits with the aesthetic of the knife external stop pins not necessarily a feature that matters when it comes to functionality but they just look good on certain knives striders have them uh, my doc had a, it just gives it a good good look when you see that and it's easy to clean around your stop pins this thing is just all around a great package and this gets a lot of carry cuts so so well so if you can find one of these i don't think these are available right now you got to check them out. Check out all the PMP knives. They are great. I love everything about this knife. It has really, it was really something that I was happy to get when it came as a gift. So look at the milling on that. Look at the, how fine the milling here. Let's zoom in. Look how fine the milling is on that. So not only is it, a, is that an aesthetic thing on this milling, it, it's tactile. It doesn't feel slippery because that milling is really fine and you can still get some traction from it. So let's go ahead and uh turn this around and do some final thoughts and send you out about your day guys i think if i had to pick one knife out of this entire collection that just really shows off that you can have a beautiful knife and still have a very functional heavy use knife it's this one it, it's this lion steel this thing is a beast of a knife but just that little pop, just doing those handles like that, just make it absolutely gorgeous. So not to make this take any longer, it's already been a very long video, probably over 20 minutes. You guys know what to do. There's sponsors down below. I put a sponsor link in. There's an Amazon store. Take it, pin it to your browser. There's memberships. Everybody gets a bunch of benefits and I do giveaways there for certain tiers. I have got a bunch of... Uh, affiliate links down below for almost all the major vendors. Make sure you like the videos. It helps out. It pushes us up the algorithm. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. Guys, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.